What we have here is a 1929 Leedy Dual Frankenstein <laughs> snare drum. I say Frankenstein because the only thing that was Leedy in this project is the shell. And it comes from 1929. It was a drum that was referred to as a dual drum. Uh, in the 1920s, the Ludwigs would have called this a supersensitive, but that meant that there were snares under the top head, directly underneath the top head, and on the bottom of the drum like normal, and both extended completely across the head at that particular point. It was originally a mahogany shell, but I guess someone had sold off all the parts on the duel because that was the most expensive part, and what was left was the shell. That was made in 1929, solid mahogany, and uh, it was my job to restore it to its former glory, or some sort of glory. So what I did is I took the shell, and I cleaned it up. I took off all the additional hardware that was there, which basically constituted um, some screws, some bolts that were there, took them off, got wood putty, filled in all the extra holes, and then prepared it to be painted and then brought up to Precision Drums in Pleasant Valley, New York, and have it recovered in black diamond pearl, which was to match the drum set that I was putting together. So I had a Slingerland bass drum with black diamond pearl, and I just needed to get the parts to put this together. So that's what I did. I got it covered. Then I started drilling it out for the different hardware that I needed. And I found out that the only lugs that would work on this particular shell, this particular Leedy shell, was the bread and butter lug from Rogers of the early 1960s. It had the right spacing. I didn't have to do anything, but I had to wait to get those particular lugs because then it would fit perfectly without doing any major adjustments. Okay, so then I said, well, I need to put on a, a good throw-off system, a simple throw-off system. So I went with the Dunnett George Way throw-off system, which is based on the George Way drums of the late 1950s and the Camco drums of the 1960s. They re refer to this throw-off as the beer tap throw-off. Very simple on one side, you just throw it off. Finished putting that together, added a pearl air vent and then heavy Gibraltar triple flange hoops, Remo heads, pure sound snares, and this is what I came up with. And it's a very unique sounding snare drum. Hope you enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> 